Baske? Yes, CK. That was your partner. I'm changing partners. I spent a lot of money on this partner, hoping to have a long relationship. Turned out to be quite expensive. Eight months partnership. So we have decided to part ways. You're not even getting to the ninth month. No, I don't want to get into the ninth month. It's quite risky getting into the ninth month. So parting ways before the ninth month is always beneficial. Uh, have you seen my new partner now? <laughs> uh, let me introduce you to my new partner. Ta-da! My new partner. New partner? Yes, my new partner. Yeah, uh, this partner seems to be more responsible than the previous partner. Uh, doesn't seem to cost so much as the previous one. Uh, the previous partner was quite heavy on my pocket. <laughs> Can I take it for a ride? How dare you ask <laughs> for my partner you want to go? <laughs> This is a horrible fellow asking whether he can take my partner for a ride. But it's so irresistible. I know that feeling. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free. Give it a shot. And if you like, I can order one more for you from the UK with Indian passport. With the Indian passport. Sure thing. Off you go. Get your ride. Okay. Come back. We'll do that. Okay. Be careful. Sure. I hope he comes back. What is your first impression, CK? I can see a smile on your face. Looks like you too want to change partners. I'll add one more partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the multi-partner type, is it? I like it, I like it. <laughs> Whatever I wrote today, the primary thing that stood out was suspension, suspension and suspension. When I was a kid, or even now when I watch the cartoon with my son, the Alauddin, the magic carpet, this has it. I was pleasantly surprised, Baski. What have Ari and Shoa done? You bashed it around a bit on some bad roads, my poor partner. Okay, don't worry, but uh, you did some nakra with it. <laughs> no, it's not me. It's not me. The bike begs and eggs you to do it. Three things that I really liked on this motorcycle, which I always look forward, is the suspension, the chassis, and then the engine in that preferential order. So this bike has hit all of it for, I don't think we can say a sixer, possibly a bigger than that. Out, out of the, the stadium, stadium, into the car park. How do you find the ergonomics? Ergonomics. I didn't have to search for anything, Boski. It was very easy. It was like putting my hand into my gloves. It was that easy. Be it the brake levers, the controls, the, gear, uh, the switch, everything is in place. Nothing that I had to take my head off and search. Where is it? I like the handlebar position as well. Comes a little bit low. It's neat. Did anything about Reaching the ground concern you at all in your uh, 60 odd kilometers today? No, it did not. It was very easy for me to find my feet when I had to. Even the foot pack positioning, I'm like used to the V-Strom, similar setup because you spend more time putting your foot on the peg and not off the peg. So it was pretty easy for me. Yeah, I hear that thing of uh, the foot peg fouling with the shin or the calf when uh, stationary, right? Yeah. When trying to paddle in traffic of this thing, doing this. And that has become an issue for a couple of people. I don't see why that should be an issue. I don't care for this because I spend most of my time like this. It can be wherever it can be. Yes. When I'm waddling <laughs> and paddling, if it's in the right position when I'm riding, that is more important. Yeah. Anyway, now, <clears throat> engine. Engine is a revelation. I had the old Himalayan 411. Zameen Asman ka farak. You had the BS3. <laughs> yes, the BS3. One of the early adapters. 
I think you even got a flywheel magnet was shipped to where? Gawati? Gawati, yes. From uh, Bangalore? Bangalore. The dealer had to send it to you because it conked out. <laughs> True. <laughs> Those were heady days. <laughs> right, it's like, I always keep telling to my fellow riders, how RE has evolved right from the days of Interceptor. Four years back or five years back, 2019, they had released Interceptor. 18 end. 18 end. Yeah. That's when the evolution, the things started to change, right? We That's started to feel. Yeah. We started to, yeah, the change was in the company for quite some time, but for an end user to see, I think that was it. And what a beauty it was. You had one for yes, a long time. I had one. End. Yes. I enjoyed and after that, they came out with the J series platforms. And now this, it's like they're pushing the bar each and every time. This is the current benchmark. Benchmark. This yeah. has become the benchmark. I clearly feel in this segment, this is the benchmark. Just to broadly categorize, we have the 390 Adventure in yes. its various uh, avatars. avatars. We have the TVS 310 GS, I'm, I'm sorry, the BMW. BMW 310 GS. And maybe for the sake of inclusion in that whatever ecosphere. in the e ecosphere <laughs> ecosystem the scrambler 400x triumph where is my 400x please you booked that first and you yeah. got this first yeah 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 i booked that first that's okay i should get it soon i, I just got an update <laughs> earlier this week that it should be arriving shortly so the triumph 400x bmw 310 gs ktm 390 adventure the so 50 which other motorcycle do you think is in this uh, sort of the touring, traveling, exploring category? I don't think I there think are any are. other in this price. And yeah, that's it. Eh? Yeah. Worth yeah. speaking about Worth. in this. Yes. I'm not even referring to the... There are a couple of other brands. Yeah. I think they are now kind of got left behind. Catching up is one thing. But when the game moves, you're left behind again. What Royal Enfield has done is didn't try to catch up. Try to set, set. a standard. Yeah. Okay, coming back. What about the engine? What about the rideability? How did you find uh, the low speed, the mid speed and the high speed, which you didn't do much of it simply because it's run 100 kilometers. However, you did touch a bit in the high, high, high revs. I'm okay, you're okay, you're free to ride it. I don't care. I don't do, I don't care for running in. Not that I mess up the engine and over rev it 100 kilometers and then I ride free. Of course, I don't hold uh, yeah. high RPMs for a long stretch. That's my running in. He does it differently and that's okay. I don't have a problem if somebody runs in. I just shared with him, it is okay to rev this thing up. Feel free to ride. Yeah, I, I was, the engine I used to take it up to four, four and a half thousand revs, drop it, pick it up again, drop it. And each and every time the way the engine responded was full of life. It was not like being, you know, forced and that's what I really liked. I'm not sure if I have to get the 411 reference here. The 411 is a tractor and pulls like a locomotive. From that 2000 is, RPM, it's yes. Like, but then it runs out of steam at 4000, 4000. RPM. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> Sorry. So this motorcycle, I think it, it starts to come to life upwards of two, two and a half thousand revs. After 4000, it's in a own league, the mad surge, the urgency that it displays is good. Rideable. It is very much rideable, Paski. Doesn't need to be hustled. 390 Adventure has to be hustled. If you hustle it, that thing is fast. A lot of activity required on the motorcycle. This is not that way, right? Yeah, uh, when I got off the motorcycle, I was telling TMK the same. It's a toned down version of your KTM engine. It will not keep you that busy as a KTM, but it has a few of the characteristics. Do we take it as an inspiration or do we take it as a copy? I leave it to you to decipher. Yeah, same. Uh, the 390 Adventure was my go-to touring bike. I was. I always used to <laughs> differ with you yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah, you never agreed with me when I used to say the 390 Adventure is the best mid-size touring, traveling, exploring motorcycle. It is now a was. Yeah. I, I, there are two 
areas which needed improvement on that motorcycle the rideability in low to mid range and the suspension areas of improvement if this hadn't shown up that would be my go to motorcycle this seems to have got it spot on suspension engine rideability plus range plus range i was i was to come to that so this didn't catch up it, it it's, set new standards it's, it's easily taken a couple of steps ahead was others have to catch up now others have to catch up or others have to excel this to make themselves a better proposition in the market good time for the customer we will make a comparison of this with the 310 gs and 390 adventure maybe sometime later this month or in jan we can do that and your scrambler i'm a 400x yeah when i get it <laughs> i'm looking forward to that that's a question i've been asked quite frequently to do a comparison between the scrambler x and this how do i choose that or do i choose this hang on for just for a couple of weeks i am buying it like i bought this and we will be able to give you a good compare yes coming back how do you like the looks looks it's built for a purpose it is built to carry you in comfort so it looks the deal for me baski well, one thing that i wanted to call out you know you look at this and even the tail lamp that's got the bulge in here it's got this yeah curve here huh? and this also yes. goes this way they've given thought and have you noticed this the spring how this works yes the key come in come in let's see positive the, yes the distinct click it yes, makes you feel that you've turned it on some of the royal enfield models is like putting key into chapati dough and turning it like you know <laughs> <laughs> there is no positivity there <laughs> this is got a everything yeah it's nothing is carry forward from any other model is what i am said but you said the horn is probably carried forward <laughs> we'll listen to it a little bit better and confirm <laughs> i i still think it's carry forward from your old himalayan 411 the horn <laughs> yeah the horn <laughs> okay maybe <laughs> no it, it's good enough for our conditions it is good enough but i think that's a carry forward <laughs> there's some discussion going on about this hole <laughs> this is a hole there is a hole <laughs> if there is a hole here there's a hole out here so nothing is going to it's not going to act as a water tanker yes. nothing to <laughs> however the i'm told the first set models didn't have it this way mm -hmm. uh, doesn't matter it's just a brace i think this u was necessary to give it the rigidity on the frame yeah when i spoke to steve he mentioned the same thing it's because you get a much better stable weld with a y rather than a single stick a single yeah yeah, yeah. So that is what he said. It's an engineering limitation. How did you like the dash? Too short for me to experience it, but it did the job for me, Baski. I never had to take, you know, my eyes off the road for a very long time. I had to look down, see what it is. Look down in the sense, gaze down on the console, get to know what gear, get to know what speeds I'm doing, the distance I've come, and that's it. I think the whole of this morning I might have guessed at it three or four times. Don't you want to see the RPM when to shift gear? <laughs> you are sensible enough to understand the vibes. You are sensible to understand the engine buzziness. Did you say vibes? <laughs> oh when... my God! What have you said? <laughs> you have just ruined the sales of the Himalayan 450 by talking about vibes. No, it's it's got a buzz. It's yes. got vibes. I enjoy it. and the older i get perhaps i enjoy vibes even more so <laughs> true it's speed fuel warning yes range or yeah. fuel could be combined into two that's all i need to know an odometer i don't need to care you know what i have had this four days now hmm. i haven't connected my phone i haven't explored any settings i have done nothing because This is the least of what I am attracted to this motorcycle too. <laughs> I enjoy riding it. Would I connect my phone? Yeah, maybe someday I'll connect my phone. It doesn't matter. This is it's a gadget. All that matters to me it's giving me the data that I need. 
when I start to ride out, travel somewhere, yeah, I'll sync it with the Google Maps so that I don't have to stick my phone in, handset outside. Nice levers, control, you didn't like them? Ah, I thought they were pretty nice. But yeah. what's, what's got you here? I think this lever mm. and this lever, they differ. Yeah, that's made by a different vendor. This is made by a different vendor. <laughs> You know, it's got a nice finish, nice feel to it. Brembo. And that? Vibre, whatever. Brembo, yeah. Brembo. Whatever, yeah. This, gumbo. <laughs> I, I don't know who made it, but... That, that, that's going to be my boo-boo if I have to pick one on the... That's what I said initially as well. Not great. Yeah. That's what I said initially. You know, the bolt is shaking. Yeah. There are a few things that I would have liked better. This is one of it. Uh, it might fall off, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that was a that's a nice or could have been finished the same way this yeah, has been finished exactly and even the paint finish as well there is a difference Baske. yeah it's a different vendor so I believe <laughs> this finish is different from slightly different from this now the reason it stands out is because everything else is so good small things stick out like a sore yes. thumb I'm not gonna moan about this quite honestly because I'm not gonna look down and see okay this is a different lever this is a different lever the application is different no it works, does the job, but could have been better. How do you find the seat? Seat is very comfortable. It is hard and I'm seriously deliberating. Do we really need a touring seat for this? Oops, Royal Enfield just <laughs> lost a lot of sales on touring seats. <laughs> <laughs> it is very firm, Baske. Now, I'll take it in a different sense. If this is so firm and hard, how would the touring seats be? Yeah, we should find It's out. a different experience, right? We'll keep an open mind. You can buy me one. Because uh, I, have I hope you will not tear it like what you did the other day. <laughs> See, that was a demo. I had to show what's inside. I was so curious. I desperately I had to tear the part one seat. Brand new seat. And I was yeah. like, ouch. It's okay. I'll ask Royal Enfield to pay me for that. Because I did so much of marketing for them with that seat. <laughs> a lot of branding. I think they've branded it everywhere. It's a beautiful branding. Yeah, here. the mirrors have got it. Yeah, where, yeah. Are they? where do they have it? See? I think it's over here. Yeah, look at oh, this. Yeah. It's got a small logo. Yeah, here. small logo there. The hub has got RE. The R or RE. Field here. Yes. Do I find it on the indicator cover? Hey, look what I found. What? Owner's manual. <laughs> Who texts in an owner's manual there, Basti? See, Come there's on. a lot of text I can read. 36.239T RUS Free service, second service, third. <laughs> what is this? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think, I I th I think the... they just forgot to take it off, Basti. No, no, it's not. It's a printed circuit board mm -hmm. which I can read. Oh, if I have man. my glasses. Let me just take a look at this. Yes. Just make sure it's not the owner's manual because they didn't give me one. <laughs> oh, you haven't yet got one? No. I believe it's a soft copy will show up. Okay. Can you look from up here? Yeah. You see that? Does it say free service there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now you got that. So I'll find out uh, whether this is the owner's manual or not. Some homework for you. Yep. And uh, I wrote it at night. Yeah, how's the headlight? There's a saying that goes like, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. This obsession with LED, 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 LED. LED is not necessarily always better than halogen. I would have preferred a H4, which gives me the liberty of changing to an LED like I did on the... Muddy Hog. Muddy Hog, my ex partner. X with your X, yeah. That lighting is far superior than this. This is good. Nothing to rave and... Uh, hype all about acceptable not sufficient I can't do anything about this the only option is to add uh, ox lights ox. and fortunately this generator has got enough 418 watts so when you go camping lights. you can carry an induction cooker plug it in start the bike and then have your meal we'll try that <laughs> <laughs> how do you find the handling on dirt on bad roads uh, suspension you said is quite yeah. good how did it pitch, roll, yaw? As I said, it was a magic carpet even there. The feedback was sufficient. It told me 
when it was losing grip and I had to fasten the bike so that it stays on the track without losing it or without sway. It is very good. I think they've had a trick with this lengthened wheelbase and I think that contributes to it. It reminded me of riding my Suzuki V-Strom. Even V-Strom is a bit long. Base. yeah. And when I take the V-Strom off the road, it has that stability and I think this has that stability, same stability with lesser weight. If you are looking for a motorcycle, if you are going to buy one, would this be the one you would buy today? Yes, Boske goes without saying. This is the current benchmark in the market and it makes a lot of sense to buy, to experience it as simple as that. Maximum load 7 kg. Yeah, despite putting that, you know, people pile up their kitchen sink, everything on. But frankly, I've, I've seen people loading their entire house and the kitchen sink on this place. And what can you expect? Top case now. There was a time I used to use a top case and I never used to load it up with luggage. Case was more for convenience. However, the case itself sitting here used to change the handling of the motorcycle. Royal Enfield is coming with top case. side case and a top case. So probably they have designed this to handle the this, this yeah. subframe. Yeah, this is a subframe, yeah. This can handle Sorry. that top case, I believe. And it says maximum load 7 kg anyway. The box will be about uh, 4 kg. So another only 3 kg inside, which is probably the putting helmet. the helmet and gloves jacket when you want to walk around a bit. Yeah, I think that is the purpose of a top case. Top case, if within city, that is what I would use it. On the highway, no, I don't want a rudder. We'll How is the braking? Braking was spot on. I think the rear is a little bit more aggressive than the front. Very sharp. The rear is very, very sharp. sharp. Yeah. And you know how to use it. Then your power slide turns is how you're going to turn going forward. What does that mean? Dave D. Venkatesh. Please. Dave Venkatesh? Yeah. And uh, there's one Rishi Manke. Yeah. That, that's a wheelie man, right? He's either doing a wheelie or he's doing a, a stoppie. stoppie. Yes. <laughs> This partner is only 3 kilos lighter than my ex-partner, or soon to be ex. How did you feel the weight? Except while taking it off the side stand, yeah, because it's tilted, mm. ah, mm. yes, tilted a bit too much, but I think there's a particular reason. There is a reason for it. Right now it is unloaded, I'm referring to luggage, so it is sitting the way it is sitting. Once it is loaded with luggage, it's going to squat and the lean is not going to be that much. Okay. Yeah. I feel the weight when trying to yeah. get it outside. So I think what, what I would what I did later on was like put my foot on the peg and stomp it down as I slide in on the seat. I did not feel it much. Technique. You can try it. Okay, I'll try it. You can that. try it. The weight is very well distributed, Baski. You know, I could take U-turns in two or three kilometers per hour speed without putting my foot down shows how well balanced the motorcycle is. So when running, there's no, you didn't feel anything? Never felt because it was tanked fully. It's, it's running on a full tank right now. Running yes, how tank. did it, did it, you filled it up on the way, you rode it uh, quite a lot without, with uh, it in reserve and then you filled up. How dramatically did the handling change? Only when I moved the initial thing, I felt okay, it is full. You can make a note of the weight, but on the go, no, no difference from no difference. four liters to 17 liters. No, no, it was not. That is the reason why the airbox is here and the fuel is here. Okay, so the fuel is sitting a little bit more no. lower. If the airbox was here for whatever reason and this place had so much room to fill with fuel, this could have become a little narrower. However, all the weight would be on top. On the 411, I can feel the full tank, the difference in the full tank, even when I'm riding, that little bit of a top heavy feeling. This I have not ridden it in a full tank. You, you just filled it now and you have been riding it. I'll ride it and see, but I can believe what you say. This handles a full tank much differently to what we expect it to handle. 17 liters is a lot of fuel. 17 kilos? 16 kilos, okay. Yeah, say even 15 kilos. Yeah. Let's talk about 15 kilos. So most of the weight is placed lower. Yes. This is when it sits here is when there is a problem. 
what do you think of the airbox position you were not so happy about it i understand I yeah understand. i was not very happy when i saw the reviews when i talked to you when you came back from manali because i thought if i if it was easily accessible i could clean it myself diy you could do a diy yeah do do it a diy but now i need to learn how to remove the tank and i don't fancy myself removing the tank with half filled petrol or stuff like that no i don't think uh it's something i saw it being done yes it takes a little bit of skill and knowledge to do and possible maybe when you mail order this partner for yourself when we both of us have we can work on it together at the workshop clean the filter and put it back once in 10000 kilometers anyway i rather have the air filter here and have this kind of weight distribution then have the air filter easily accessible here and i have a top heavy motorcycle so this is the better way to go you stole all my words <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and an interesting thing is you can lower the headlight see it's only for europe yeah i am told where their regulation does not require a front number plate it's only in india and in a few mm. countries a front number plate is required in europe there is motorcycles don't have a front number plate so the idea is you just remove so the this the headlamp comes a bit lower yeah this whole assembly moves down by about an, an inch. inch yeah what are you planning anyway to do <laughs> <laughs> get rid of this and put a number plate here yes do you think so this has been designed to accommodate the indian regulation that is not the case with some of these motorcycles where they put a horrible contraption and put a number plate <laughs> have you noticed that <laughs> what does it look like inside <sighs> ah it's full it's full see that rod across that is to prevent the gun from going and slamming into the bottom of the inside of the tank i now can recollect why the fuel attendant was cursing because he had to hold the gun all through while he was refilling ah. because he lets it here the gun falls off it doesn't go in right it is not able to balance it doesn't even slam it yes. and let it shoot yes you have he needs to have it on hand and filling in 13 14 liters i pity them he has to work for the sale <laughs> you're making him work for his work money for, yes Okay, coming to your scores. Out of 10, how would you rate the looks? The looks it's very neat, very pleasing on the eyes, very clean lines for the first time I'm seeing in an RE. Yeah, classic has but it's all conventional but this new one I would give it a good 10 or possibly Yeah. Whoa! I, I the don't perfect think so. 10. Yes. Nadia yes. Comanenci. Okay. Engine on 10. Engine, yeah, I think I would put it eight and a half or nine. Uh, simple reason is it makes me work a little bit more compared to the Himalayan, but less than the KTM. So it's in between. So I'd say, yeah. Handling and suspension. I think that's ten. No second touch. Suspension. Damn, we have two tens today. Suspension is simply out of the world in this motorcycle. I never expected it would be so good. It is. it doesn't valo on the straights it doesn't valo on the straights like what the himalayan 411 used to do it is like sitting on an arrow head when you're taking the turns it is neat mid corner bumps mid corner corrections it takes it with grace and elan it doesn't throw you off or makes you unsettled and i'm talking of pedestrian speeds 50 60 70 I'm not, I haven't redlined it at 90, 100 to see what it was, but that's the speed that I did today. Value for money? Now that's dicey. Siddharth Lal bold a googly telling prices are valid till December 31st. And how many bikes is he going to deliver at that? <laughs> I have got, I have got mine. <laughs> We are lucky. <laughs> I think today's price now. Today's price? I mean, it's a killer, man. Yes. it's a killer pricing and even if you do factor in after 31st they're going to hike it by 5000 or 10000 15 maybe I yeah it still looks good you're not breaking the bank to buy this honestly so on 10 i would call it 9 so we have two 10s and yep. a 9 and a 8 and a half yes sir so that's ck's evaluation of the motorcycle which is 
quite close to what I had also shared and most people shared. So all that remains now is to get into a bit of the nitty gritty of the mileage. You're going to run it for at least a couple of hundred kilometers, I'm sure, if not more. You could share about the mileage and uh, peak traffic, maneuverability, heat management, all this looking forward to hear from you. I don't commute so much. I'll have to go looking for it to get a feedback. You can do that for me. Thank you very much, Baski. Enjoy, have fun. So next coming up will be the 400X. Hopefully when Bajaj Triumph deliver it to me. And after that, we'll need to get uh, KK to bring his BMW to do a Comparo. Comparo and then get Autorama to bring his 390 Adventure to do a Comparo. And I already know what is going to be the outcome. <laughs> I'll keep an open mind. Okay. <laughs> I will not be biased. I shall yes. do a neutral review. Yes. <laughs> Next time. Take care. Hey! What? Give me my bike. Who Give are me my partner. Who are you? Who are my... Who are you? Hey, CK! Who are you? Hey! Who are you? Hey!